Hey guys, welcome to the Wave Crypto Club. We talk about all things crypto. In the last episode, we spoke about Uniswap, which is a decentralized exchange. In this episode, we'll be talking about PancakeSwap. Right? So PancakeSwap is a direct competitor to Uniswap. It is also a decentralized exchange that was built on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, this was the history behind this is that it was founded by a group of anonymous developers back in September of 2020, and after that, it has like pretty much taken off. Um, so how does this really work? All you have to do is go go to their website, connect your wallet, and then choose what token you want to swap with what other token, and that's it. You pay the fees, and there you have it. You're done. It's as simple as that. You can even limit it, limit the price, set a price that you want to purchase for. Right? There's also liquidity pools. You can contribute to the liquidity pool and earn money out of it. There's also perpetuals. Um, that's very interesting. Uh, because that's a big market. We'll talk about that just before that. Let's look at the uh, liquidity and volumes. Pancake Swap currently has about 2.83 billion dollars worth of you know total uh, value locked. The last 24 hours volume has been about 200 odd million, right? So that's that's not bad at all. That you know given that the market is down and they're doing about 200 million worth of volume, that's incredible. In fact, where I see Pancake Swap uh, or Uniswap or any of these decentralized exchanges having a big push is that there is a life cycle right? an investor who has just started investing in cryptos will probably start his life in a centralized exchange like binance or coinbase but later on as he gets more familiar he will move to something like a pancake swap or something like a uniswap because that's when he understands that he needs to secure his cryptos keep the custody with himself learn how to use a private wallet and also maybe try and get into exotic tokens. So for all that, all these decentralized exchanges really come into place. And that's when in the next cycle, I feel PancakeSwap has that huge leverage and you'll see these volumes going up really well, especially given now that everybody knows exchanges can pause withdrawals and deposits. Because of that, more and more people will look up for options where their funds are extremely secure and DEXs are the primary source for that. Now let's look at DApp Radar. Even on DApp Radar, right, Pancake Swap has about a, you know it says has about one hundred and seventy three thousand dollars, uh, have one hundred and seventy three thousand users, putting it at the second most visited uh, you know crypto app uh, among all of them uh, that DApp Radar uh, looks at. That's incredible. We we know that there are certain apps which are valued at billions of dollars, but has like thirty users a day. Right, Pancake Swap on the other hand is doing really well in that sense. This is the perpetuals that I was talking about. We did an entire segment, uh, you know, talking about the derivatives market, talking about, um, you know, synthetics, UMA, uh, DYDX and so on. And you know how big that market really is. If you're interested, you can watch the video. It's linked in the description. That market is huge. And I feel, uh, these, uh, you know, pancake swap getting into that, getting even a, a thin line or, or a, a small share of that uh, will catapult it to a much bigger uh, stage. Then there are farms, so you can you know provide your tokens and earn a fixed or a flexible income. Uh, you can earn a fixed income. It can be for a fixed time period. It can be for a flexible time period. So you can go out and check out that as well. So it's very interesting these that these kind of things exist. Then something very very smart that Pancake Swap has sort of done is gotten into things like lotteries, predictions, and uh, trading competitions. I'll tell you why. Starting with predictions, this is in their beta stage. Today, all you can predict is whether in the next five minutes before this timer here runs out, whether cake will go up in price or go down in price. It's a very simple thing, but the larger play here is that they probably want to get into the whole prediction market, which is humongous because people predict all kinds of things, sports betting, election predictions, you know, price of, uh, let's say, Bitcoin reaching X amount of rupees by uh, X amount of uh, dollars by uh, X, uh, X month and so on. So prediction is a huge market. This is just their beta launch in that. So, uh, you know, this it looks like they are about to unlock an entire feature uh, that is focused on the prediction market where even you can go and host uh, your question saying whether, let's say, will there be excessive rainfall this year? Will uh, Trump win in, 20, uh, in the next uh, US presidential election? Whatever you feel like. Then there's a trading competition. So they have a leaderboard and, uh, you know, they are bringing in more, they, they want people to compete in teams and you can earn uh, prizes for doing that. Why is this important? This is important because if you are just like one or two people, you will bring your friends as well to start trading with you and uh, you know form a team. This can help in increasing the number of users. 
and then there is the lottery section right so it's a very simple lottery but it it adds uh, excitement it it makes people connect their wallet there are small friction items here like connecting your wallet opening a wallet and then putting some uh, it, uh, you know putting some tokens into that wallet a lottery is a great way for people to just overcome that friction you know start doing those small things even if you don't want to buy uh, a lot of things don't want to trade or don't want to use perpetuals something like lottery a lot of people are interested to try to try their luck then there's nfts right so nf we saw how big open sea has become nft itself is a big space pancake swap has also gotten into uh, this they they are creating a marketplace for nft so another big thing that they are trying to do now if you go down uh, you know to the uh, road map you'll see that they're also working on something called zap zap is to uh, you know it is nothing but uh, enabling uh, making liquidity better and i'll not get into the details but the roadmap looks strong from what i can tell because this feature is very well thought through they are including it because of a particular problem that that users of pancake swap have today in addition to that you also have initial farm offering so what is initial farm offering like how you have a stock offering on the stock market um, new tokens can be offered uh, you know as a initial farm offering uh, to exchange in exchange for raising funds so that's another thing that that they are into looking at this vast level of a vast spectrum of things that they're doing i have two thoughts one is which is a positive that hey even if one of this works pancake swap is going to fly become the next 100 to 100x token but are they losing focus by trying to do so many things that's the other side of it which one i don't really know but that's the two sides of the story um their white paper which is the second version here it looks borderline like uh, you know it's very playful it looks borderline like shiba inu's white paper only thing is this actually makes sense uh, so that's very interesting i looked at the ratings so pro, uh, if you look at the ratings token inside gave them a 70 defi safety gave them a 54 um, and another rating agency gave them a 75 so i went and checked out why defi yeah, safety gave them a 54 so if you go down to defi uh, safety's uh, website you will see that they gave them a 54% score which is a fail according to them um serious lack of uh, documentation and certain audit issues is is the reason for it for a d5 token that these are very important uh, uh, parameters and that is one big red flag for pancake swap it is trading at about $3 today uh, which is almost 93% down from its all time high so even if it just goes back to its all time high that's like 4 5x from where, or like close to 9x from where it was today uh if you look at whale stats uh, you will see that a number of whales are owning like whales own cake it forms about 0.82% of their portfolio so large holders are also investing in cake uh that's a safe that's a safe thing that i just look at this to feel uh, you know re- to rest short that there are richer people who are investing into this and hence i might not be the only one holding this bag in case it crashes uh that's about it for pancake swap i you know if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it welcome to the wave crypto club